Hello everyone, welcome to Java Tutorial. Today our topic is exception handling in Java. So first, what is exception? So if the normal execution of the program get affected by some code, then it will throw some kind of exceptions. So exception handling is to maintain the normal flow of the applications. So exception handling is the special concept through which we can maintain the normal flow of an application. Suppose if we do not do this exception handling, what will happen? So whenever sub program will throw the error, it will get terminated. The program execution of program get terminated at the point of exceptions. But if we know how to handle it, then we can maintain the normal flow of the applications. So exception handling is with the help of this ex exception handling, we can maintain the normal flow of the application. So what are the different types of ex exception handling? There are three types of exception handling. One is checked exception, unchecked exception and errors. So what is the difference between checked and unchecked ex exception? The classes that extend throwable class, except runtime exceptions and error are known as checked exception. So all the exception apart from errors and runtime exceptions are checked exception. For example, IO exception, SQL exception. So these checked exception are also compile time exceptions. So they are resolved at the time of compilations. Then we have unchecked ex exception. All the classes that extend the runtime exceptions are known as unchecked exceptions like arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, array out of bound exception, all are these unchecked ex exception. They are not checked at the time of compilations. So they mainly occurred while running the program. Then we have this error. Error is, we cannot recover the errors. So we cannot handle the errors like out of memory error, or virtual machine error, or assertion error. So this error, uh, these error occurred at the JVM level. So up to now, what we have co covered, the, what is exception, what is exception handling, and types of exception. So there are two, mainly two types of ex exception. One is checked exception, another is unchecked exception. In checked exception are those which are compile time exception, like IO, SQL exception, and they are apart from the runtime and errors. Then we have unchecked exception. All unchecked exceptions are runtime exceptions like automatic exception, null pointer exception, array out of bound exceptions. And after that we have these errors. We cannot recover the errors like memory out of bound or virtual machine error, assertion error. So there are some common scenario where these common errors can occur, for example, arithmetic exceptions. So let's see these exceptions with the help of an example. So what we will do, we will create a test class. Exception example. This is my test, test class and I have a public static word main method. First, what we will do, we will cover this arithmetic exception. So let's see the arithmetic exceptions. Mm. Int a is equal to 10. Int d is equal to a divided by 0. And system dot out dot println is equal to d. So this is my program in which I have a number a is equal to 10 and this number I, ha I have divided with, with 0. So anything divided by 0 is it will throw the arithmetic exceptions. So let's run this program and see the output. Yes, as you can see that exception in thread main java.lang.arithmetic exception divided by 0. So it will throw the exception and it will terminate the program. It will not print 
anything it will not display the value of this D it will terminate the program at this line it will not display anything so this these are the exception which affect the normal normal execution of the program and it get terminated where the exception will occur and next we have null pointer exception so what is null pointer exception suppose what i will do i will create a class of exception theory i have a class exception theory or what i will do let's create a string str is equal to null and what i will do here str if i will perform any operation on this here my string is null my string object is null and i am performing any operation on the null value of str is null here and i am performing the operation on this str then it should throw the null pointer exception yes here you can see that exception in the thread main java.lang.nullpointerexception. dot null pointer exception so this exception occurred because of the null this object our string object is null and we are performing any operation on the string this str so null dot anything will be null pointer exception so this is example of the null pointer exception then we have number format exception like suppose we are converting any string into int we are pass parsing any string value into integer suppose we have string value if we will try to parse this string into integer it will throw the error int integer a is equal to a is equal to integer dot parse so str what we are doing we are parsing this str which which is containing the characters not the integer values suppose if it contain the integer value that it will parse it successfully if we run this program it will display the 12 but if this string contain any alphabets a then it, it will throw the number format exception here you can see that number format exception for input string a12 it is not able to format the number it is not able to convert the string number into integer so this is the example of the number format exception and after that we have array out of out of bond exception array index out of bond exception suppose you have uh, in, you have a integer array of size 5 and one two three and what you will do here if you are trying to access the value at f5 int int v is equal to a is equal to f5 this array contain only three element a0 a1 and a2 there are three uh, three elements only one is at a0 another is at a1 and another is, last one is at a2 and we are accessing the a5 which which is not existing there in the array so it will throw the array index out of bound exceptions because this element do not exist in the array does not exist in the air so these are the all types of the exceptions 
in Java. Or these are the some scenario where the exception can occur in, and the program get terminated. So exception we are checked and unchecked. Then we have seen some example of the exception. In our next tutorial, we will cover how to handle these exceptions and what are the various classes 